Hello, Keith Rucker here at VintageMachinery.org. Guys, today we are back to working over here on the locomotive connecting rod project, making the new brasses. Uh, we've got the brasses made, we've got them fitted up. Right now what we're working on is getting the tapered bolts ready to go in here. Now, we previously have gotten the, the small bearing end uh, reamed down and got the new bolts made and installed up on that side. I'm now up on the big end. And if you remember, uh, for whatever reason, back when this locomotive was built, the taper used on these tapered bolts is supposed to be 1 8 inch per foot. So it's not a standard taper in today's world, but that was the taper that was used. And that was a taper that was down here on the other end, just like we expected. However, when we got up to the large side down here, uh, we found out that these had been reamed and had bolts with a eighth inch, or excuse me, a quarter inch per foot taper. So eighth inch is what it's supposed to be, quarter inch per foot is what was on this end. I suspect, again, that what had happened is in the past, somebody had worked on this. They did not have an eighth inch per foot reamer, which I had to have one custom made uh, to work on the other side. So they used a standard tapered pin reamer, which is a quarter inch per foot. And uh, that's what they reamed these holes out to. And they made some bolts to go in there with that taper. So instead of having to try to figure out how in the world we're going to correct for the taper, I just decided we're just going to stick with the quarter inch per foot taper that's in this side. We're going to roll with it and uh, we're going to ream these out to size and get bolts made for this size uh, down here on this end. So I have sourced a quarter inch per foot taper. This is a number 11 uh, taper pin reamer. Uh, I had reamers up to number 10. I didn't have a number 11, so I had to order one, but I got one in the shop now. I want to go ahead and get this end reamed out and uh, then we're gonna go work on getting us some, some custom made tapered pins and get this one pinned in. It's gonna be interesting when we get to the other side of the locomotive to see what the tapers are on that side, whether they have the same setup or whether they're all eighth, uh, eighth inch per foot like they should be, time will tell. We uh, only got the left side off right now. So right now we're gonna kinda just come in here and start reaming out these holes and uh, getting a good clean taper in there and then we'll get over and make the bolts uh, to go with it. So I've got my quarter inch per foot tapered reamer in here and it's not going all the way down in there. I've, I've checked the, the hole in the bottom. I think it's just an alignment type thing. We got to just kind of get this thing kind of worked out. But uh, we're going to go ahead and start the process of reaming these in here. I'm going to put a little cutting oil in them. And we'll get these reamed out. Uh, with these tapers, I know it looks like a long way to go. I just need to get it to clear the bottom down here so we have a good clean taper all the way through. And because it is such a small taper per foot, just a little bit of enlarging, this thing's going to drop down fairly quickly. So let me get in here and uh, do some reaming and we'll be back in a bit. This has been a workout. I'm just about where I want to go here. I got a line on the reamer there which should make the bottom of the reamer flush with the bottom. And I'm getting there. The deeper I go, <laughs> the harder it is to turn this thing. But we are getting it slowly but surely. Right. I think I'm just gonna call it right there. Oh, that was a workout. So now I need to get my bolt made and we're gonna have to reset up the taper attachment because we're gonna be turning a different taper this time uh, to make these bolts. Let me uh, get a sketch of these bolts drawn up and we'll get to working on that. All right, I made off camera the new tapered bolt here. This one is a quarter inch taper per inch, or per foot rather. And let's see how it fits. Kind of tight here. Let's see if it'll hammer down. All right, so I'm gonna have to get the reamer and ream it out just a little bit more, but we are real close. And that is in there. Put some oil in there. And get my old friend Reamer going here again. All 
Doesn't need a lot. We're gonna take it down a little bit. All right, we've done some reaming here. That bolt is down real tight now. Just tap it in place and we should be good to go. So now I need to knock this bolt out up front and do the same process on it. It's gotta be reamed out to size. I've got a bolt here made for it. We just need to get it fit. And I think we'll be done with uh, this side anyway. Go ahead and tighten this up. There we go. All right, let's, uh, we'll get that one done. I will be back. Well, here we are again, back to hand reaming. This is just a slow process, so turn a few turns and then pull it out, clear the chips, and do it again. I got a long way to go to get uh, clearance or get contact all the way down that taper with this reamer. You know, Going from a number 10 reamer to another number 11 reamer. Seems like there ought to be a reamer in size in between those because the number 10 reamer near about just dropped all the way through this thing. And the number 11 reamer, you gotta go way down before it starts making contact. Uh, been nice if there'd been a reamer kind of in between the two where I could have had that long contact all the way up and down. Yeah, without having to ream out so much, but we'll make it work, work with what we got. I'm gonna be here for a while, so uh, I'll bring you guys back after we get this uh, ream down to size. And after a considerable amount of reaming, I think we got it to size. That taps right down into place. Oop. Our nut on the bottom. And I think we got these two bolts fitted in place. So I need to stamp the ends of these like I did the other ones with the size or the number so that we can make sure, I mean, basically these bolts have been custom made and custom fit. So I wanna make sure they go back into the same holes later on. So uh, we'll get the stamping done. And with that, um, I think we're pretty much ready. I do want to make a longer um, adjusting bolt down here. This one here is not long enough to put two uh, lock bolt nuts on. So I need to make a longer um, bolt there. I'll just knock that out on the lathe and just double check my shims and my spacings and I think we're ready to go put this back on. So the other side was stamped LF for left front. This one here is stamped LB for left back. Uh, we have one, two, and then this will be number three and this will be number four, just straight down the line. So let me get my stamps here and we'll go ahead and get these stamped. There's my L. I want these to be LB. L, B, this will be number three. And this one will be number four. All right. That should help us down the road, making sure they go back in the same place. 
right, I did go ahead and make a new adjusting bolt to go on both sides. We got a little bit of headroom on top of them there to bump them in and out. This bearing is pretty much ready to go. Let me show you the other side, got it set up as well. So again, there's the two tapered bolts and then that's the adjusting bolt with the two nuts on it to tighten it up. Uh, all brand new hardware on this thing. New bearings as well, new tapered poles. Uh, so I think, I think we're ready. I think this is done. And I do wanna check this with the trammels now that everything's adjusted. So I got the one end in down there. We're right on the money here. So we're right at five feet apart. My shim should be properly spaced. This one is ready to go back on the locomotive. Well, all right. This one, like I said, it is ready to go back on the locomotive. Probably uh, shoot another video when we go out there. We'll install this one. We'll pull the other one off. And like I said, we got to do the exact same thing to the other side and uh, probably won't film all of that. I may do a little summary video on it, particularly if there's any surprises that come up along the way, but um, you kind of seen the process of what we got to do here. Um, this one kind of took me a little bit longer than what I anticipated because these tapers weren't what I was expecting down here and I had to wait on a reamer to get in here, but uh, we got it done. We got them reamed out. We got the hardware that's, that matches uh, the, the tapers that are in here. Um, this is much better than it has been in a long time. We've got plenty of brass in here. The bolts that were in here, it was always a jigsaw puzzle trying to, when we took it on and off, trying to figure out which one went back in where. Now everything is made to fit. It's stamped, it's marked so that we know which piece of hardware goes where uh, in the future. And uh, we got new hardware, new bearings, new reamed holes. Everything should be good. So we'll get this on and uh, continue on this project and hopefully have these uh, side rod bearings all wrapped up here pretty soon, just in time for the locomotive to get back into service at the 1st of September, which is coming up real quick. So there you go. So we're out here at the museum and thought I'd show this. We got the connecting rod, the back one back there back on got the bearings installed everything appears to be good we're gonna be firing this thing up here next week the inspectors coming out to inspect and um, when we got it fired up I'll get out here and check these bearings out and adjust them, make sure they're adjusted good I think they're good right now but we'll see after we get a chance to run them a little bit and we got the other side taken off and back here there's the bearing journal in the back and the connecting rod is missing right now. As you can see, it goes up to right there. Get the camera in there to see it. But uh, anyway, we got that one off and uh, we'll get those bearings done and get that one back on here as soon as we can. Guys, with that, that is going to be a wrap. As always, thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Those thumbs up and comments are always greatly appreciated. Please hit that bell icon up there to get notifications when new videos are posted. And as always, thank you guys for that support the site financially through Patreon, PayPal. Uh, really helps out a lot. Allows me to be able to take the time to be able to shoot these videos, bring them to you, and everything else that goes along with it. There's information for that down in the description if that's something you want to help out with. This uh, really is greatly appreciated. We're going to get out of here. We'll sign off again. We'll catch you on the next video. Thanks for watching.